As we approach the new year, the answer to solving Tennessee's rural hospital closures is getting more difficult to find. U.S. Senator Marsha Blackburn has introduced a rural health agenda designed to bring health care back to people in rural areas. Caroline Corgan learns it's a plan that could help people in Polk County who lost their hospital six years ago. It's an ongoing issue across the state of Tennessee. Rural hospitals closing, forcing people in communities like Polk County to drive hours for health care. We asked Senator Marsha Blackburn how this new plan could help people in need. People in the small community of Ducktown are worried about the lack of health care after the county's only hospital, Copper Basin Medical Center, closed in 2013. Just ask Sonia Daniel. If you can't get emergency health care here, I mean, you might as well just move here to die. We need emergency health care here. We need a walk-in clinic here. There's no walk. If they're not going to let us have a hospital, then for God's sakes, could we have a walk-in clinic? That was in August. As of this week, Ducktown Mayor Doug Collins says they have had no progress. The hospital is still closed, and it doesn't look like a clinic will be opening anytime soon. So what now? Senator Marsha Blackburn says this is one of the reasons she's working on a rural hospital agenda, which includes three bills. First of all, it has an innovation fund for establishing those freestanding urgent care centers, those facilities just like Polk County is looking for, uh, so they can deliver health care. It would also include funds for these clinics to partner with telemedicine, which is a way for doctors to treat patients in rural areas. The third would establish a national rural health care core. What it would do is put in place a grants and uh, to stand up these facilities, working with our state legislators who are seeking a waiver so we can keep the savings they're generating every year on Medicaid, gives that pool of money that would help for these entities to have these facilities. Governor Bill Lee is asking the federal government for a fixed amount of money in the form of a block grant to provide health care to disabled people and people living on low incomes. There's no word on when or if that would be approved. In the studio, Caroline Corgan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.